Hello everyone and welcome to our last newsletter for 2021. To end the year we've chosen a topic we think is very appropriate and that is inclusivity. I saw a wonderful explanation of inclusivity and it said, if we think of humanity as a large family, then to be inclusive means that everyone has a place at the table. No one is excluded, marginalised or left out. Everyone has something to offer. As adults, we pass our values to children every day through what we say, so our message is important. So what's gone wrong and why has the world become so angry, divisive and full of turmoil? This is a time of year we can start to make some small changes and show some kindness and give a simple smile, even just to say hello. We know that residents in aged care are one of the most marginalised and isolated in society. And I find it unbelievable that aged care providers are held accountable for this when as a society, we have a duty and obligation to look after our elderly. Now I know there are some wonderful people visiting residents within aged care, but where are the other visitors and family members? What are we doing as a society to ensure that our elderly are still part of a community? And Christmas is certainly a time of year that highlights the challenges we face. A lot of what we do here at Defitus is to look at ways to design for everyone, to make sure environments are comfortable for all. And a great deal of our emphasis has been on how we can design to ensure that community are happy to join and be part of an aged care community. Everyone needs to be involved in this, however, if it's gonna be successful. The aged care provider, the architects, placemakers, landscape architects, and designers, and most importantly, the community. But what do we need to do to bring the community within? One of the main issues, I believe, is the negative stereotyping of older people. And this has certainly been reinforced in the media, which is unfortunate because the media inform and to, to a certain extent reflect societal attitudes. This is a mammoth issue, and we can't just rely on the aged care industry to find the solutions. As a community, we need to do more. There was an interesting article on the ABC website and it said, in Western society especially, we fear dependency, invisibility and dying. Aged care is a silo of these fears and until it affects us personally, we ignore it. So if that is the case, we have a lot of work to do to change society's perception of ageing. The government says that they want to improve accommodation in residential aged care and they're working with senior Australians in the aged care sector to improve the design of residential aged care accommodation. Now, from my point of view, I, I say hallelujah. The environment certainly needs to be front and centre. But from what I observe going around aged care facilities is a great deal of loneliness. And whilst design can accommodate a variety of ways to bring the community within, I believe we need to address community attitudes and think of what we can do to change the image of aged care and therefore bring community within. All aspects are important, but as Aristotle said, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. In other words, it is complex, but I believe achievable. All of us here at Defitus are apprehensive. I think a lot of people out there are, but we're also excited and looking forward to 2022. There is a lot of change and potential for change. Organisations are thinking about how to be more green and eco-friendly. And so our end of year message is, let's look after each other and also the planet. So on that note, I'll get off my soapbox and wish everyone a very merry and safe Christmas. And we look forward to seeing you all again next year. Thanks so much for your support. And I hope you've enjoyed our newsletter. Um, if there's any topics that you would like to hear next year, please just email us and I'll make sure that I include that in the ne next lot of Deb Talks. Cheers and bye for now.